everybody, I'm Nicole Fecto. I am the chairman of the Berwick Planning Board and I am also a local real estate agent. And today I am here to talk about cluster developments. You may have heard of cluster developments a lot lately, especially if you're watching our planning board meetings. We have a few major subdivisions that are before the board right now. And one of the things that we can require of a major subdivision, if it is in a specific area, so it has to, um, the the land has to be of um, significant benefit or use or uh, maybe previously was farmland or is forested land. Um, we can require the developer to come back in with a cluster development submission. And I'm going to read a little bit from my phone uh, because I wanted to make sure that this information was extremely accurate. Um, I've had some comments lately at some of my public, um, public comment sessions about clustering, and I just want to make sure everybody is really clear about what it actually is. So cluster development is um, the economic development of business clusters or residential areas. And we're, this is the part we're talking about is residential areas to permanently protect open spaces and environmental resources. So under this scheme, houses are built closer together on a part of land rather than spread evenly on larger lots over the whole development. So the theory is that if you have a large tract of land, instead of, um, it, I'm sure there's gonna be a graphic because I'm gonna send it to Terry after this, <laughs> what I'm referring to, but instead of spreading out you know, 10 houses on this big parcel of land, Cluster development is um, not increasing the density, but, but basically allowing for smaller lot sizes in that, in that zone to cluster the houses in a smaller area and preserving the open space. Um, so it's a land development tool that is used by communities to protect open space of, or environmentally sensitive lands. And that's what I was talking about where it's farmland or for, forest land. It's something that is um, important land to the town. A couple of things I wanted to add is that um, the net residential density is, shall be no greater than is permitted in the district. The developer has to submit two sketch plans. One is a standard layout and the second as a cluster. And the number of buildable lots in the cluster cannot exceed what was in the standard plan. Um, at least 30% of the site must be uh, preserved as open space. No individual lot or dwelling unit shall have direct vehicular access onto a public existing road at the time of development. So that's an important one too. Um, and then cluster developments shall meet all the requirements of the subdivision regulations of the town of Berwick and other applicable town ordinances. And all of those are really important. So um, a cluster is really to preserve open space and pre preserve that rural feel, which has been, um, the, the town is aware that that is what the people of the town would like, is to preserve that open feel and the open space and land. So that is cluster development.